Good evening. Welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews, and happy Cinco de Mayo Day. Hope everyone is staying safe and having a nice party and getting together with friends and loved ones. I just want to say thanks to Monique of the 556 Book Club. I just love this shirt here. And I just want to say I look forward in two months. It will be the 566 Atlanta Kickback Book Festival here in Atlanta. So congratulations to that. And I look forward to it. I just want to say this author here that I'm about to do my book review on, I met, it's almost been a month, I met her at Girl Have You Met in Dallas, Texas. I talked with her, sweet, beautiful young lady. And I just want to say that I had no idea I've been sleeping on you, but I'm wide awake now and I'm here to party. I missed the party for couple years because I see your review and I was like oh she got a lot of reviews but you know but I'm talking about no other than John Bernay Love Aurora Volume 1 I had no idea John Bernay your work wow this this book and volume 2 I have finished volume 2 I'm gonna do my taping for it a little later because I just finished it and I just want to think about some things that went on in that book and let it marinate on my mind a little bit. But I just want to say, mm, I had no idea how deep, how connected I was going to be to some of these characters. Staying up at two o'clock in the morning, I'll pass to reading this book. It's just that good, my people. Please get this book. This book is 509 pages, and volume two is 529 pages, 529 pages. I just want to say I give this book five stars. I wish I could give it 20 stars. Yes, I said 20. No 10, 20, because it's just that good. This book in volume two is just that good. This dealing with four brothers, young boys who lose their family, mother and father, and you got the oldest son, Adrian, who takes the role of being mother and father to his three younger brothers, which is Drew, Drake, and Drennan. He started selling drugs to, you know, help support, feed them and everything. But what I do love about this book is that he did not give up his education. He smart man. Went to school, finished school as a criminal lawyer. He instilled his brothers to go to school too. I think one was finance, one accounting, and the other one I can't remember, but finished. Drennan was the youngest of the brothers. Drennan Pierce, all of them Pierce brothers. I liked him because he was straight up. He never beat around the bush where you had like Drake. He was with. Feeling Nori, but he had a woman at home. He wasn't being truthful for to her. It was like Nori knew about her, but she didn't really know about Nori in the beginning. Then you got Adrian, who is married to Tess, who he loves Tess, but he also hasn't gotten over his first love, who is Carmen. And she comes back into the picture and everything, and it's like he... Mm. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in book two. And then you had Drew, who I guess you could say I like Drew, too, because at one point he was straight up. He wasn't committed to women and he just slept around. He didn't, you know, have one like, oh, I'm your man or anything. He said, you know, hey, I just want you for sex or whatnot. So I kind of like him, too. And Manny. Love her. She kept everybody straight and narrow. I love her. But jumping in, I just want to say, you you had like I said, you had me up at night. Two o'clock past two o'clock. I'm like, days I'm off from work, going back down the room, put on my shoes to walk my dogs. The book right in front of me. I just grab it, start reading. We don't forget I need to take my dogs for a walk. That's how deep and connected I was in this book. I will say this too. A lot of my a lot of friends or whatnot, 
know I love to read. Uh, people I just meet in general see me with a book. Who's your favorite author? Well, I tell them like this. I love all authors, and I truly do. I love to read. I'm an avid reader. I read all books that hold my interest. I'm not discriminating. It's only maybe two or three genres that I haven't connected. Maybe I just not found the right book. But they were, who your favorite author? And I'm like, I just love to read. But I will say this, John Bernay, you're making it hard. Because you are really about to maybe say, force my female author. Whew, you are really, mm, that's all I'm going to say about that one. I just want to say, there was a part in this book, a tragedy happened in Drake's life where he's at a hospital. He's at the hospital. He comes out of the hospital room and he overhears a nurse say something about something else, another situation that's dealing with him, that's connected to him. I didn't see that one coming. I didn't see that one at all. The ending was perfect. I love the ending. It was just right. I just want to say that too. I give this book five stars. I wish I could give it 20 stars. Yes, I said 20 stars because 10 doesn't do no justice. Five doesn't even do justice, but you know, that's what it is. You know, Amazon five stars. So that's what I'm going to go with. I am going to do my written review when I get off of here also too. I can't wait to come back and do book two. Well, volume two of Love Aurora. Wow. That's all I'm going to say about that. Thanks for all of those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. If you have not, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also on Instagram, Robert's Reading Room. Facebook page, Robert Reading Room and Reviews also, too. Feel free to drop a line. Re recommend me another book. I had no idea this book. John Bernay. Mm -mm -mm. Again, please support. Get this book. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Please, and leave those reviews. It is so important to leave a review for the authors, okay? Until next time, happy readings, crack a book. Good night.